welcome to my England haul video. I was in Bristol and London, so this haul is from both places. The first place I went shopping was in Bristol. There's a mall there. You can see it in my vlog when I get that uploaded. It's really bright, full of light, big, open, really pretty mall. The first store my mom and I went in was like their kind of JC Penney's type, I think. I think that's a good comparison. I got just a few silly, pretty silly things because it was like I was ready to shop. They had a whole bunch of beautiful bone china teacups and saucers. And I really wanted to like pick out my favorite, but I it was the first store I went to. It was one of those situations where you think to yourself, I'm gonna see a lot of that. It's all right, it's too early, but I should have because everything else I saw after that was really touristy, so I wish I had, but it's okay. I don't have room in my cabinet anyway, but they were beautiful. What I did get, though, were some silly things. I'm telling you right now, it's silly. Uh, I got some page markers that look like cats. <laughs> so you just pull these out and the bottom is sticky. And then it looks like there's a cat stuck between your book pages. <laughs> Silly. <laughs> I also got some sparkly push pins that are like iridescent rhinestones. Because that's the life I'm living right now. This is also very silly and I probably shouldn't have gotten this, but it's heart lollipop string lights, LED lights. So this is like one of them. It's like the actual size of a lollipop and they're on a string like that. Taddy Divine is the designer of the brand. So <laughs> I got those two. And the last thing I got in that store was my stepsister lives in Bristol. That's why we were there. And the first day I was there, she put like arugula with salmon and a piece of toast and a poached egg. She kind of threw that together so we could eat something because we were all real hungry. And to poach the egg, she used these little silicone cups that she just put in the pot and they floated <laughs> and she put the lid on them. So uh, it came out really well and she's like, these are amazing. And I said, I agree. So I saw those in the department store and I got them. I got four. There's two of each color. Uh, hers didn't look like this, but it's the same thing. They're cute because they look like eggshells. And so you just put a little oil in there, like avocado oil, and you squidge it around a bit like this. And you plop your egg in there three, three to four minutes. And it's lovely, lovely jubbly. So I got that. And that was all from the department store. I then went, we went to Hotel Chocolat. Maybe that's how you say it. And got some chocolate. And I saw this store a few places, but I went in the mall and I got these little packs. They're like six chocolates. Well, this one's, anyway. These little packs, some of them have more than six, are were three for 10 pounds, I think is what they were. So I picked out three that had these award stickers on them. Ooh there and sounded decent because they had so many kinds and I didn't know um, so this one is called mousse au chocolat so I was like I like chocolate mousse maybe that'll be nice I got this one that said salted caramel cream because who doesn't love salted caramel and I got this one because my boyfriend loves butterscotch I haven't tried that one yet. I tried the other two and they're pretty good. I also got just a inexpensive variety pack. I don't know what's in here. So that'll be exciting. And I got this wooden box of Turkish delights. Uh, when I've been in England previously, I would have like a Turkish delight a day, but it was just like the Turkish delight jelly covered in chocolate. I had like one a day and they, that's not real, like these are legit. 
I'm positive these are legit. Like straight out of, what was that Chronicles of Narnia with the Ice Queen? Was it that movie? Where you got those powdered Turkish delights. So that's what's in here. And I haven't opened it yet, but I'm very excited. That's all I got at the chocolate store. Now you know I love Disney, but I wasn't planning on going into an England Disney store because I figured they'd have the same things as we did. But in the mall, there was a pop-up Disney store. And I was like, well, I'm here, let's walk in. And so I got some stuff. Now this tote is a tote you can get in America, no big deal. But I need something to carry my stuff in and it's pretty and it had a zipper. It ended up being my carry-on bag on the airplane, so that was good. While I was there, I got a Angel Ufufi. She smells like pineapples and coconut. Uh, I love Angel and I like pink and she smells good. And I actually have a Angel Valentine's Ufufi from Japan. So I got this one to go with her. And I don't, I'm not sure if these have been released in America or not, but I, I know they're not at my Disney store outlet. That's the thing that I'm closest to at home outlet Disney store. I know they're not there so I grabbed that. I also grabbed a little bitty Lotso. He's so little and cute and he smells like strawberries and I just couldn't help myself. I'd never seen a little one before. I, he's only recently gotten on my radar. I have the medium size on my bed and Anyway, I re really like the size when I grabbed that too. <laughs> I like plushies. The last thing I got, I checked after I left and I know for sure we do not have these in America. So I'm glad I walked in the Disney store because I'm obsessed. Mary Poppins. It's Mary Poppins. She's got a carpet bag and her umbrella. And her scarf is all knitted and nice and her face is embroidered and her hat and her shoes. <laughs> There's lace trim on everything. Ah. Mm. I saw her and I was like, oh. <laughs> there were two others and that's all they had in stock. They just had three. And the lady that worked there said, these sell out like crazy. People come here and say they've been waiting for it. They've been trying to find one everywhere. So anyway, I'm really stoked to have her. I love, I have a collection of princess plushies with the embroidered faces like this. So she's going to go with them. I am so happy to have her. And what a great England souvenir, really. I think maybe they're releasing some... Mary Poppins stuff because the remake is coming, maybe. Anyway, she's amazing. She's awesome. Another store at the mall that I discovered, one of the, I probably got some of my favorite souvenirs there. It was a store called Typo. They don't have those here. I had never heard of it, but the display whenever I walked by drew me right in. So here it is. I got this tote to carry my things in. It says be happy. I have a choice of three. I got this one because, I mean, while I like the aesthetic of donuts and sweets, they're, you know, pretty. And But I still don't want pictures of them around tempting me because I'm trying to be good. So <laughs> I got the one that was safer. Be happy. It was only a pound. It was cute. Okay. So when I went, I went to England. I had one purse. It's a Betsy Johnson purse and it matched a lot of the stuff I brought to wear but it didn't end up matching the outfits I ended up choosing to wear because it's kind of a dark bright dark pink with gold studs on it so it was clashing with everything I wore so I was on the lookout for something that didn't clash I've also had my radar peaked for those little backpacks that people wear with Mickey ears and unbeknownst to me Disney had teamed up with Typo to create a Disney line. And so I got the little backpack with Mickey ears I'd always wanted. It is blue crushed velvet. They also had Disney pens. 
they're on it. So here's the backpack. Super cute, crushed velvet, hello. And here's one of the pins I got. I stuck them on this thing immediately and they haven't left. This is uh, kind of that millennial pink Mickey head. This is a gold Mickey hand doing a peace sign. <laughs> Throwing the deuce. And this one says growing up is optional and it has a little Mickey head at the bottom. I love these pins. I regret not getting multiples so I could bring them back in trade, but I didn't. I'm sorry. <laughs> really do feel bad about that. But I wore this for the whole rest of the trip. This pen, I'll reveal to you in a little bit. But yeah, it's got a little Mickey head zipper pulls. Growing up is optional. Pink Mickey head pen and gold Mickey hand. Throwing the deuce. <gasps> this backpack's my favorite thing. It is still my favorite thing. I also, okay, when you're in England, a large amount of their currency is in change. They've got two pound coins and one pound coins and then like, you know, their versions of pennies and nickels and all that. Like they've got a lot of coins. So I was getting a lot of change and I needed a change pouch. And I got one at that store. It was the last one they had. It's Tinkerbell looking sassy. The other side is gold. It's got a star zipper pull, and I love it a lot. I also got a face mask for sleeping. I already took it out of the package, but it says live like there's no midnight. It has these shiny stars and a shiny castle. They had so much Disney stuff and unicorn stuff. It was, <laughs> ooh. I, I controlled myself quite a bit, but I did get this unicorn pen which I thought was just so pretty. And that is everything I got at Typo. <laughs> I was a good girl, <laughs> relatively good, but this backpack, even my boyfriend likes it. And he's not that, that into Disney, but he digs the backpack. So that was cool. Also, while we were in the mall, we stopped in their drugstore boots. It's like their Walgreens and mom was getting some things. And while we were there, I got these <laughs> Hello Kitty face and hand wipes because hand wipes are good and they're Hello Kitty. And I also got this mirror to put in my new backpack, which is glitter mirror. I just thought it was really pretty. I, I didn't necessarily only get things that had to do with England, but I love it also. That's everything I got at the mall. The next store we went to was Primark. <laughs> this was at the top of my list to go to because I've been looking at Primark hauls on YouTube and drooling. So, I got my Primark bag and I got quite a bit here. So here we go, bear with me. I got a, they had a ton of totes. There was one that said, Harry broke my heart. Okay, I saw a lot of royal wedding stuff everywhere I went. So the Harry broke my heart one was really funny. <laughs> but I didn't get it. The one that I got was this. Don't let the muggles get you down. And here it says, property of Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. So don't let the muggles get you down, guys. <laughs> Next thing I got was, I got this pouch, which is glittery. They have a lot of pouches, but this one's glittery on one side and has beautiful bell art as well as glitter on the other side. It was four pounds. This was three pounds. I got another pouch. 
I had so many pouches. It was really hard. I had to think, what will I actually use? Because they had like the Mrs. Potts one, but I didn't think I'd ever use it. And I've got a lot of stuff, so I have to be careful. But I think I will use this one. It's an Alice in Wonderland. It's a little drink me bottle. <laughs> so cute. So like, it's got silver liquid in it and Alice. Here's the zipper. Got a little cork, glittery cork. Totally cute. So I got that. I also got some Marie Sockies. Little socks with rubbers on the bottom. 250. Two pounds 50. Two pound 50. I think that's how we say it. This pouch was five pounds. I don't have prices on everything because I've worn some of it. I got this Marie shirt. Which is, feels really nice. I think it must be some kind of blend because it's very soft and nice. I actually haven't looked. Oh, it's not a blend. It's 100% polyester. That's why it's kind of smooth feeling. I also got this Pusheen shirt, which you saw in my pin haul video. It's wrinkly because it didn't get put in the dryer, but meowjigal. I love pushing a corn, so I get just about anything I can find. And this is embroidered, which is really nice. I also got this t-shirt, which has the Fab Five on it. It's a really neat pattern. You probably saw this if you watched my pin haul video as well wrinkled. It got hung to dry instead of put in the dryer. I don't have anything with that kind of pattern on it, so that was very adventurous for me, but I really like it. I also got this suit, kind of a pant suit. It's a blazer with pants that match their plaid, and they've got pink stripes through them. The pants have elastic in the back, which is very forgiving, and it's a kind of a cropped Pant. So I've seen it worn with like con low top converse or bands or something, which is really cute. Here is the blazer. So it's very light, which is good because I'm in Texas, y'all. <laughs> so it's hot here. Like we're getting up into the hundreds this week and this is really light. So I can get away with this just about any time of the year, which is really nice. It dresses up any situation, and it's still rocking the pastel pink, which I appreciate. It's got double buttons on each side, but it doesn't actually button. So it's not made to button close, you just keep it open. It's nice. My Little Pony sock. Old school My Little Pony. I have a lot of these ponies that are on these socks, actually. I think I have them all. I have a little My Little Pony collection. I have quite a few collections, guys. <laughs> I'm feeling like I might come out of the closet on that, but I'm still nervous. I like toys. I have quite a few collections. I'll open up slowly about that. <laughs> Okay, so that's what I got at Primark. There were a lot of things I put back. There were, oh, there's this really pretty jasmine pillow. I did also see the Marie pillow, but I don't know where I'd put them. I really wanted to find the Mrs. Potts kettle, but they didn't have it. They had a lot of chip cups, but it was a chip cup that had bubbles on the outside uh, and he's got his cheeks puffed out, which is really cute, but I didn't like the bubbles on the outside, so I didn't get it. They did have the Aladdin lamp teapot, but I already have it. I got it off some on eBay before I went to England. It's gorgeous though. It's one of my favorite things I have. Anyway, that was my Primark haul. So that's everything I got in Bristol. On my last two days, since I was flying out of London, mom and I went to London and stayed there before I flew out, which Sunday was America's Mother's Day, and I flew out on Monday. So we had um, most of Saturday and all of Sunday in London. 
and I went by Lazio, which you'll see in my vlog. There wasn't much out. There wasn't any, it was interesting. They had a sign out on the street showing how they did a Betty Boop line, but when you went in the store, there was nothing from Betty Boop in there. So that was interesting. But the store is located in a really cool area of London. I don't need to go on about this. It'll be in my vlog. Also went to King's Cross Station, the actual real life King's Cross Station, where they have platform nine and three quarters. Well, the entrance to it anyway, obviously, I'm a muggle. But um, you can see a cart stuck halfway through the wall and it's got a bird cage on it and you can wait in line to get your picture taken and they'll pull a scarf around you and someone off camera will like wave the scarf so it looks like you're running. It's really cute, that's in my vlog. But they have a store there called Platform 9 and 3 quarters and it was wonderful. My mom discovered she's Hufflepuff in a quiz. I already knew I was Ravenclaw, so we went in ready to go. And I actually checked out twice because I just couldn't stop. So let me show you what I got. First up, I got a Ravenclaw scarf. Had to. I I most, I mean they had it all kind of wearables, but I most obsess about Harry Potter when it's cold. And that's when I want to wear Harry Potter stuff. So I got something that would keep me warm. Harry Potter scarf. I love it a lot. I almost got a tie too, but I figured that that's an easy thing to get anywhere probably. But I like this scarf a lot. I also got a Ravenclaw pin. Here's the Ravenclaw seal. It says Ravenclaw and it's nice. It's got weight to it. It's got gold accents, writes really well. It's a good quality pen, so I'm excited. It's a really pretty blue too. I don't know if that's coming across, but really pretty blue. My mom got a Hufflepuff pin. She also got wands for my nephews. One of them got a Harry wand, the other one got a Neville wand, which I thought was very appropriate. If you haven't seen it, spoiler alert, fast forward a little bit, but since they were the two that the prophecy could have been about, I thought that was very appropriate. And one of them actually wanted Neville's, so that worked out really well. I have been listening to the audiobooks while working, and as you know, in the books, Dobby plays a much larger role. So that's been fresh on my mind. I love that little elf. I love him. So I got a Dobby plushie. I like him because he's kind of a more realistic size to how big a house elf would be. I mean, I think they'd be a little bit bigger than this to us, but he's actually got wire in his leg so you can pose him. And um, they had one with his arms crossed, which was really cute. Anyway, there's my little Dobby. Dobby is a free elf. I really love it. They look a lot better in person than I thought they would because I think I'd seen these online. I have to pull down his little shift. I need to give him some clothes. <laughs> some real clothes. I'm gonna put a sock on him. <laughs> That'll be funny, I'm gonna do that. Anyway, I'm gonna pose him somewhere. I'm not sure where. The pen that was on my backpack is this pen. I got an extra in case, you know, to put with my traders. Cause I think these are exclusive to that store. Yeah, it says platform nine and three quarters, King's Cross, London. Maybe that's better. That's the other pin that's on my backpack. And I also got a little head wig. I would have gotten the bigger one, but the proportions are off. The bigger one has like a head too small for the body. This one seemed a bit more proportional, even though it's not a realistic size. We can just pretend Hed Hedwig's a baby here. <laughs> it's baby Hedwig, but I love Hedwig. And they got her eye, <laughs> her eyelids right. She's kind of always glowering. I love Hedwig. That was like my first haul, and then I saw through another door. They were doing this. Is I'm gonna show my geek right now because I flipped out when I saw this and I had to have one. They did personalized 
acceptance letters to Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. So, um, it's signed Professor McGonagall. It comes with an envelope, so you can fold it up, put it in the envelope, and then attach the seal. So it's got a Hogwarts seal. It is a personalized letter to Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry, signed by Professor McGonagall. You had to put a little extra thing in your address where on Harry's letter it said covered under the stairs. So I just put master bedroom because I don't know. I felt pressured and on the spot. I couldn't think of anything really clever. <laughs> Envelope with that on the back. So you can fold up the letter and put it in the envelope and then there's a uh, little seal it's got adhesive on the back so you can stick that on the envelope it's really neat and it comes in this little folder it said it was an exclusive to that store but I'm sure you could I feel like I've seen places advertise sending you your own personalized letter but i did get mine at platform nine and three quarters which is cool that's what it looks like in the folder <laughs> i can't tell you how exciting this is to me I, so i can pretend me and my mom had a lot of fun there it was really fun okay so another place on my list to go was harrods i had never been to harrods before it is an experience i tried to capture some of it in my vlog I mostly went there to go to the toy department because there is a doll line exclusive to England that is just precious. I've liked it for a long time. I think the doll faces are beautiful. You can order one online, but it was a, a smidge cheaper. Plus, getting it at Harrods is kind of awesome. So I got a Bonnie and Pearl doll at Harrods. I have not deboxed her yet. It is Beatrice. She's the redhead one. So here's the box. I just think it's such a classic thing to get in a Harrods toy store, you know? I think anyway. I, I planned on getting this doll before I went to England. So this was one thing that I knew I was going to get before I went over there. I had budgeted and planned for it. So here she is, her sweet dress, and little shoes. She's tied in with ribbons. I mean, that takes you right back to childhood. <laughs> She's so sweet, her eyes open and close. I also got an outfit for her, which is a really cute little jacket. Here's my hair, it's bag. My stepdad, he's British, that's why I have family there. He was saying to wear to carry that one on the airplane so everyone can see me carrying a Harrods bag. I guess it's a thing to have a Harrods bag. That store is Lux. L-U-X, capital letters. Anyway, this is the outfit I got. It is the green dog walking outfit. So, here it is. They had an amazing plushy section there, by the way. Look at this jacket. It's cute. And a little hat to go with it. And there's shorts and shoes and a little dog and some tights and a little white shirt. I won't put that in here. I might make some doll videos later. I'm not gonna force you guys to watch doll videos. Okay, so that was Harrods. So I did all that shopping on Saturday and on Sunday, my mom and I mostly walked around London, which you'll see in the vlog. One of the highlights was Tower of London, the castle and the bridge. It's the only castle I really got to get close to on this trip. My boyfriend loves castles. So the gift shop there is where I knew I would be able to find something for him. And I did, I found him a really cool mug. The mug part looks like a knight's helmet and the handle looks like chain mail. He really likes it. They had the royal wedding stuff there and tea sets and kettles that were gorgeous and i i could have gotten some but they were expensive and i'd already spent a lot of money so i just no beth instead i got it's the tea set but in puffy sticker form 
So I got two sets of these stickers <laughs> instead. I'm gonna take it out of the plastic so you can see better. So there's teacup kettle. This is um I guess just like a mug, a mug version and a phone and creamer and pretty flowers. I just think those are really pretty. And they were only four pounds, so <laughs> I can do that. I can do four pounds. And this is super silly, but we went upstairs to where the kids' stuff was, just, I don't know, whatever, look around, and there were these little plushy princesses. <laughs> and I look, and I look at <laughs> her feathers are like strips of fur cloth. Oh man, I don't know. She was just so cute. And she was marked down to five pounds. She used to be 18 pounds. She was marked down to five. I love plushies. <laughs> I got her. I think it's a line. I think there's other princesses, but this is the only one they had. So she was very cute with her lavender hair. So I got that also at Tower of London. And that's basically my major shopping. Now, when I got to the airport, there were some stores there and I had a lot of time to kill. And P.S., you get 20% off at all stores in their airport. I don't know that I've been aware of that being what happens at an airport before. I don't know if it's just because it's only the London Heathrow Airport or what, but I went ahead and got some like typical London stuff. I got a uh, Turkish Delight, similar to the ones I used to always eat. I got Walkers is basically their Lays. In fact, it might be owned by the same people because their logo is really similar. And I and they love cheese and onion. I got potato chips because they have different flavors there. So cheese and onion, very popular flavor there. Roast chicken. I don't know if this is popular, but it's definitely different. So I got that one. Worcestershire sauce flavor. I've tried one out of these bags so they're open. But this is prawn cocktail, shrimp cocktail. This one is pickled onion, and it legit tastes like pickled onion, like those cocktail onions. It's crazy. Then I got a classic salt, salt and vinegar, and I got this, which is Walker's Sensations Thai Sweet Chili. This one is the real McCoy's Sizzling King Prawn. I'm gonna try that one. Yet. And I got this kettle sweet chili and sour cream. Interesting flavors. I thought I'd give them a try, have fun with my boyfriend. We can like try them and be like, oh, oh, ooh, ah, you know. I also got a couple Kinder eggs because these are not allowed in America. They're like chocolate covered plastic eggs with a toy inside. So they're fun. This one is actually themed DC Superhero Girls. So the other one is generic and I can't find it immediately. So for that later. Um, so those are Kinder Eggs. I also get, got just some Kinder Candies. They're hazelnut. They're chocolate covered, crispy, with a hazelnut creamy center. I tried one. They are yummy. And I got this really cute tin. It's a pink version of the Union Jack. It says, keep calm and carry on. And it's got tea in it. It says it's an afternoon blend of tea. And it's got a little history on the back of the keep calm and carry on thing. I don't know if you knew this, but um, okay, on the eve of World War II, the British government printed 2.5 million keep calm and carry on posters. The aim of this simplified five word statement was to convey to the country a message of reassurance for the troubled times that lay ahead. The posters went unused and subsequently destroyed at the end of the war. Some 55 years later, a secondhand book dealer in the north of England discovered a copy of the poster in a box of books bought at auction. That find marked the rebirth and launch of the keep calm and carry on message into the 21st century. I didn't know that's where it came from. I know everyone has a play on that and I didn't really know where it came from. So if you didn't know, now you know. <laughs> anyway, I thought it was a really pretty sweet tan and I love tea. Another thing I became aware of while in England 
for some reason I hadn't heard of it before, but Kath Kidson, the designer, she had a little store in the airport. I had seen her stuff around London as well. There was a Kath Kidson store that we went into, but I didn't get anything. But when I was at the airport, I finally buckled because there were a couple things that I liked and I didn't get. So, like I said, there were royal wedding things everywhere. I flew out on Monday and the wedding was on the Saturday after that. So I just barely missed the wedding. And I was like, you know what? I'm here right for the wedding. Like this is kind of a opportunity. So I went ahead and got a Kath Kidson mug for the wedding. She had her own design, which was cute, I thought. The celebration. This is the box the mug came in. New so cute. Here's the mug. This is the ended up ended up being the only mug I actually got while I was in England. Although next time I'm definitely gonna get a bone china thing. It was really cute. It was a really cute design. A lot of the stuff for the wedding was not so much cute as much as it was garish. <laughs> it had like uh, Harry and Meghan's faces plastered on mugs and bags and everything. That wasn't really my style, but I love that mat, that mug. Another design she had that I really loved was this version of the Union Jack. Uh, so I got the pouch version. They also had this in a mug, but I liked the wedding mug. I had a cup of tea on the day of the wedding for the royal couple. You kind of get caught up in that thing when you're there because it's just everywhere and everyone's excited and Harry's, Harry's pretty cool. I think he's all right. Anyway, here is that cute little pouch. Okay, that is my England haul. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, press like, subscribe if you want, ring the bell, and I will see you next time. Thank you, have a magical day.